So this little project has been on my to-do list for a little while and I got a request for it so time to make it happen. Doing a double, a double applique uh, over the top of each other offset a little bit. Valentine's Day is coming right up, coming up shortly. So we're going to do some hearts. I'm assuming that you know a little bit about ink stitch and appliques. If not, watch this video where I show you how it works. Uh, I'm going to turn page grid on. I'm going to turn snapping on. And I'm going to do a really bad job of trying a heart, but it's fixable. There, 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 there there and there yeah does that look like a heart no it doesn't and select node tool pull that over a little bit that's better zoom in a little bit i'm gonna select these outside nodes and hit this curve button awesome and hit control d hit this button to flip it over move it over and boom look at there turn snap off turn the page grid off highlight both of these these are two separate objects right now we're going to make them one with union now they're one piece sweet all right now control d to duplicate and put it approximately where you want it to overlap. Now, when you do difference in Inkscape, whichever piece you difference is going to disappear. So we need another heart as a backup. So I'm going to hit Control D, and I'm going to push that out of the way. Come back down, select that one, hit Shift, select that one, Path difference go back up to my reserve heart bring it down and drop it in about there I'm gonna shrink it just enough to go inside okay I love it okay uh, I want both of these to have no fill go into fill and stroke Change this to a PX and give me a, a little number here. Awesome. Oh, and while we're at it, do dashes. That tells the machine to do a straight stitch. Remember, you're working from bottom up. Uh, stitch the design, straight stitch design, show you where to put your piece of fabric. Put your fabric down. It does another straight stitch to tack it down. Okay. So I'm going to select all these again and hit Control D. So now I have two layers, a show stitch and a tack stitch in objects. And if you're not, if you don't have that there, it's object objects. Okay. I want that to stitch and then that one to stitch so I need to move that down it works from bottom up so that one that one and then that one and then that one yes awesome we're almost there sweet so what's left to do I'm going to select all of these go to extensions ink stitch uh, commands attach commands to object and make sure selected is stop machine after sewing this object because after each one of those you want it to stop so you can do your work if your machine does not recognize ink stitch commands to stop sewing you can change the color of each one of those if you have a single needle machine and it will stop waiting for you to change the thread but Little does it know you're not changing the thread. You're putting down a piece of fabric. Okay. Hit apply. Awesome. Okay. So, we have our show stitch on both of them. And our tack down stitch on both of them. So, we need to create the satin stitch. 
that makes it all nice and purty. Purty. Yes, I said purty. Oh, and I don't want all these. So I'm going to shift. I'm going to click that, and then I'm going to shift click. I don't want all those. I just want the top layer and the second one. Nope. I want the top layer of that one and the top layer of that one. And I held down control to select the individual one that I wanted. So now we're going to duplicate with control D. Now we have another set. We're going to turn these into satin stitches. But first, uh, the first thing we want to do is I want this one and I'm going to zoom out and I'm going to move this over to where I can see it and work with it in a little bit more detail. Okay, so I want to zoom in pretty closely so I can really get down into the details. I want the node slick tool and I want that node and I'm going to uh, break path at selected node. It should pull apart and it does. So I'm going to do the same thing down here. Is that a node? That's a node. And we're going to do the same thing here. Break path at selected node. Okay. So now that we've done that, go back into the nodes. I want to select each of these nodes. I'm using control shift and hit delete now now that we've done that go into extensions ink stitch commands And I think I want these two. Hit close. Zoom out. And that's your start button. I want it to start right there. Start there. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to grab this piece and move it back down where it goes. Line it up nice and tidy. While we have it highlighted, go back into fill and stroke, make a straight line, give it some thickness, two, guessing, yeah, I think it works, and then go back to object slayer, hit the other one, and give it the same two solid stroke two millimeters go back to that one go extensions ink stitch satin tools convert line to satin sweet do the same thing on this one ink stitch satin tools convert line to satin of wheat now well, with nothing highlighted let's do a troubleshoot it looks a little funky right there doesn't it rung does not intersect rails let's go in there and fix that that's an easy one highlight 
that. Pull that over. Scroll back out. Oh, looks like our only error. Go into objects layer. Oh, sometimes it doesn't go up easy. Delete that troubleshoot layer. And let's run troubleshoot again. All shapes are valid. Okay. So, this should work. All right, as we watch, the first stitch shows you where to put your fabric. Second stitch tacks the fabric down. Cut away that extra fabric and then put it back in. Do the same thing for the next heart. Satin stitch the one in the background first. Speed that up a little bit. Yeah, it looks a little funny right there. It's, it's a little funny right there. Let's see if we can figure that out. I'm going to scroll in real close. It's overlapping in a strange way. So I'm going to... Shift-click both of these and just delete. Let's pull that around so that it's down here and pull that one around so that it's about the same. We're going to have to move this over. Otherwise, we'll get rung, didn't and intersect complaints. One. Let's check that, make sure we didn't cause any issues. Strange, it looks strange. Ink stitch, troubleshoot. Okay, so we fixed that one. And this one had an error, had a weird looking thing, just about the same way, didn't it? So we'll look at it. Yep, it's exactly the same thing. We might just move that down like this instead of deleting and warping that's interesting okay let's see if we caused any errors it might be considering that a run Troubleshoot. Yeah, everything's good. Let's see if it looks a little better. Let's speed this up. Zoom. Oh, that looks so much better. Oh, yeah, we're good now. So that's how you can make, properly make, a double applique where you're getting rid of the underneath because you don't want that excess especially if you're doing more than just two layers two layers you can probably get away with but hope you enjoyed watching this and if you want to know how to change the color of the satin stitch we will go ahead and do that real quick where's it at all of these top ones yes so all these top ones are my satin stitch. It breaks apart for some reason, don't know why, when you do an auto satin stitch. I'm going to select this red, I'm going to drag it down into stroke, and now we have a red satin stitch. Yep, that last little bit's in red. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Had to say it.